Hello. So, looks like it's time for another unboxing. I just got this in the mail today from Let's Play Games, which is a, another Australian distributor. Uh, interesting story. Uh, these guys actually called me up um, to make sure that um, I wanted to get it sent to a parcel locker because they had a lot of trouble getting stuff sent to parcel lockers. But I've never had any trouble, so I said, please send it there. And they said, okay. And they sent it. And here it is. So, I don't know, just a little bit of really good customer service there. Um, making sure that they don't get stuff returned. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'll look nearly 100% sure, that this is going to be a game called Skate Summer from Andosaurus, which turnaround was really fast on this one because the, the Kickstarter was only at the start of this year. Normally, you don't see Kickstarters showing up for at least a year usually more, but they um, had this one ready to go, and this is the Kickstarter edition, so it's got all the special components, um, the, should have the miniatures, and I just really like this, I love Pandasaurus games, they do really cool stuff, it's nice colorful artwork, um, and this game is all about uh, doing tricks with your skateboard around town and earning points for being the most uh, bodacious, I guess would be the word you would use. Um, so yeah, it looks awesome. Got lots of skaters. Let's see what's inside the box. So you've got your normal shrink wrap packaging. The box seems to be in pretty good condition. Um, I don't see any dings or dents in it anywhere, which is most excellent. What is it called? Totally too, I don't know, that's surfing. Uh, radical? Uh, here we go, and there's your box. This is pretty standard quality for Panda Source, like excellent. Um, I think they get their stuff manufactured from Panda Games. I think they do, but I'm not 100% on that. So this game is two to five players, 45 to 60 minutes, 60 minutes, and ages 14 plus. And there we go. Instruction book. Oh, I see something shiny. Um, so. Pretty decent game as far as heaviness goes. Cool. Flaming eyeballs are sweet. Or those flaming skate skateboard wheels. I'm not sure which. Alright, what do we got here? So we got uh, this is some advertisement for handed source games. This book gets bigger all the time, thicker and thicker. This is looks like some super awesome shiny freebie stickers. So that's going to have to go someplace cool. Whoa, there's heaps of stickers. Right, I'll be careful with these because I might need them for the game. But these might just be some some extras. I actually really have grown to love vinyl stickers. Like They're just so much fun. And you can stick them to things around the house and uh, make things look cool. So you got punch boards. So these are the, you have the, your four basic, that's your skateboard dashboard where you plan out your tricks and then you can choose your your character who's gonna who you're gonna be skating as. And there should be a few of these. So there's four boards. They've got four characters in the, the regular game. Five. I'm a little bit concerned. Oh no, wait, here we go. I think these might be the miniatures. Because this is supposed to be the Kickstarter. Yeah, there we go. Whoa. So these aren't in the standard edition. This was the Kickstarter special edition one. And we got all of our super red, really cool skaters that you can play as. And there's heaps here because they did some extra ones. So there's your normal human skaters. And there's also these like monster ones. So there's like a a squid one and a, like a biker Godzilla character. And here's another normal human being skating on these. Actually, these miniatures are quite nice. They're a bit retro in feel. Here's someone wearing like a a monster hat. I'm not sure. I think she's a monster too, but I can't remember what she's supposed to be. Another dude. No, that's. Oh yeah, that's another. That's one of the main ones. This is one of the monsters. It's like a, a zombie skater. That's rad. And this this guy who looks like a, a mascot for a children's cereal. That's great. All right. So this is the actual game board here. Oh, that's nice and thick. It's actually in this sort of uh, extended hexagon shape. And that's the town. So you go around the town, there's all these locations where you can do your tricks. Uh, I haven't really learned the game exactly yet, but you, 
you do tricks in different places and earn points for being the most awesome. And look at all this lovely stuff. So we got these are the up Kickstarter upgrades. So um, plus, uh, what is it? Heat heat transfer plastic. Here's the original game pieces. So if you buy the retail version, these are what your skaters look like, I believe. And the crates. Those look like um, like uh, corner ring bell turnbuckle bells or whatever from wrestling or something. Here's some flaming wheels. Those are red. Here's some spray paint because nothing says skate culture like uh, I don't know graffiti I guess. And some square tokens. I love these things. Little little cubes. And here's more. These are the time three uh, three. Uh, what do you call it? Three times. Times three versions of this flaming wheels. Here's some little flat plastic cubes that aren't cubes, they're flat. Oh, more cubes. These are the dice. I really love the quality of this stuff. It's just so chunky and fun. And I think I'm actually gonna really enjoy playing this game uh, because it's not looking too heavy at all. All right, so we got lots of little cards. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to play this one with the kids just yet because it does seem a little bit complicated. Uh, it is competitive, which can always be a problem because people can get pretty intense about winning games. So it's always good to be cooperative in that case. Oh, come on, you, you can do it. Uh, sometimes it's so difficult to open these plastic things on the little packets of cards. Just got to keep working around until you can get a weak spot. There we go. Mm -hmm. ah. There we go. All right. So these are these are all, this is an important part of the game. So these are all the little moves you can do: cannonball, Benihana, crail, crail grab, crawl grab. I don't know. But melon, nose bone, all this. Fandangle, those are special moves. And tricks, 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 they're all tricks. And that's awesome. So it's just a game about being an awesome skateboarder. It, you know, if you're an awesome skateboarder, I think this would be fun. Um, if you're not, like, you can pretend. And that's, like, why board games are great. Because <laughs> you don't actually have to... to do the thing that seems really fun, but might like stick, you know, millions of hours of practice to be good at it. And, you know, some broken bones. Nobody's going to break their bones playing Skate Summer. What are these? Special tricks. Casper 360 flip. Hurricane. One foot overturn. So it's kind of like, yeah, it feels a bit like, um, Almost like a fighting game, but more like a like a like a dance off, where you're competing to be to uh, be the most awesome. Like what's that? What's that? What's that show? Step up. It's like step up, but with skateboarding. Do do impossible. So heaps of tricks, laser flip, and different levels. Just normal tricks, mostly normal tricks. All right. So what's this? A few special things. Freeman flip. That's the special tricks. So there it is. Skate summer. There's um, a decent amount of really cool stuff in the box. And I'm stoked to uh, have a go at this game. And um, hopefully I'll have that done soon. But it looks beautiful. Um, there we go. I think perhaps some of these ones are double sided. So there's that character. Carmen Thrasher and on the other side, yeah, see Tara Nova. So you can you can only play with what was it? One to oops, careful. One to two to five players. So of the five all the five player tokens are double sided, which makes perfect logical sense. And I just gotta throw it. So there it is, Skate Summer. Um we'll probably hopefully get to play this and do a review on our podcast which is Hot Game Magnet. You can find us at hotgamemagnet.com or on our Facebook page or iTunes or Instagram or Liberated Syndicate or um, are we on, uh, what's that one with the podcast? 
drawing a blank. Anyways, you can find us in a lot of places. Just, just Google Hot Game Magnet. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and follow us for more videos. And um, if you have anything that you'd like to see closer, please leave a comment um, below just to, and uh, I'll, I usually get back with any questions pretty quick. All right, have a lovely day. Thank you very much.